Hello everyone, today we have new video review and as you can see today we are going to talk about release from ICM. This is a part of their diorama series, as you can see it features the different product number. It is molded in 135 scale and it is dedicated to World War One and Zack Desert Patrol. So we have here three vehicles in one box. It is not difficult to guess that they are based on Model T. And this is a commercial sample, so it means you will get exactly the same stuff as what you will see in this video review. We are going to open it and check what is hidden inside. So first of all, box size is surprising surprisingly small even though there are three vehicles as you can see here comparison with my hand it's not that big and then here on the side we have some information about the kit so parts count is 99 parts for assembly of model t utility also 135 for assembly of model t lcp and then also how many parts i guess 85 for assembly of two ring model T, all models in 135 scale. Here you can see them in a form of color profiles, but I guess we'll have more in the assembly manual, so let's open it. Box structure is typical, as you can see, that's a flexible top part, and then we have sturdy white cardboard box, which should actually protect everything inside. Here is what we have inside. So three separate plastic bags, so basically three kits, which are connected together with this a rubber band and then we have different assembly manuals for each kit so yes you can get them separately but this kit should offer you a better chance to save some money and of course it might be interesting for some others who would like to get everything at once so here we are with this first plastic bag just give me a second to open it okay Okay, we are going to start with grey plastic and then gradually we will move to the clear parts as well. So here we have first grey plastic sprue, let's zoom in a bit. And it is not difficult to guess that here we have car body parts, as you can see the lower section is molded as a one piece part. We have also here the seats, note that doors are pre-molded shut so you won't be able to open them. And if we flip it over here we don't have that much of detail, let's say. Okay, next we go on with second grey plastic sprue, so this one is mostly dedicated to wheels. We also have here various main chassis bars, engine parts, and also bonnet here, ports, radiator grill, steering wheel, everything looks fine, it's 135 scale, so some parts are really small, keep it in mind, and maybe use some special tools, don't try to install everything with your bare hands because it won't be such a successful experience in my opinion. Next we go on with clear plastic frame, so just give me a second to open it. Here we have the windscreen ports which are molded just like this. Of course there are no masks included, so if you would like to cover them you will have to cut stickers with your own hands. There is nothing included in the kit. And in my opinion it's quite strange because we get vehicle sets, three of them in one box and there is no masks template at least for um, proper masking of your vehicles. Okay, we go on with second set, just give me a second to open it. Oops. So what do we have here? Again we start with grey plastic sprue, which looks somewhat similar to what we saw on the previous kit. So again we get plastic wheels, which is really cool because it will be handy for painting and weathering um, techniques. It will make it easier. And then here we have steering wheel, exhaust tube, engine parts, gearbox parts, some suspension parts here. Everything looks fine, some parts again are really tiny here, you can see comparison with my fingertip. So keep it in mind and if we flip it over here you can see that we have some push marks on the bonnet part. So if you plan to open the bonnet you have to think through how to cut these parts first and of course how to fill in these um, marks. Next we go on with slightly bigger plastic frame in comparison with what we saw before because here we have car body parts, as you can see a separate roof panel here, again one piece car chassis, 
Then here we have various body panels. Again, doors are molded shut, so you won't be able to open them. And if you flip it over, here you can see these parts from the opposite side. This part is quite strange on one attachment point, so it might break off during shipment, but I guess it won't be damaged, so don't worry. Here we have clear plastic frame again in the separate plastic bag. I guess it is the same among all kits, but let's check it. So here it is, small one. And again, parts look nice, but there are no masks included. So all these squares and white sections will have to be cut off with your own hands. As far as I know, there is no aftermarket set. At least Edward does not produce anything, so you will have to work with your own tools and hands. Next we go on with another plastic bag, that's actually the last model, the third one. So we are going to open it as well. And check what is actually supplied here. So yes, I guess the clear sprue is absolutely identical on all frames, so I won't be showing it because there is no sense in displaying the same part again and again. We go on with grey plastic sprue. This one looks somewhat similar between several sets as well. So here again we get plastic wheels, we get some of the um, engine and also gearbox, drivetrain, suspension parts. Everything looks cool, but be sure to play with weathering and painting techniques because in 135 scale it should look interesting. It's not as big as 124, but still I think the final result will be noticeable. So try to add some value let's say. Next here we go on with bigger plastic frame. This one is absolutely identical in my opinion to what we saw before. Here we have main um, chassis part which is molded together with the lower section. Here we have roof panel, again side panels which are molded together with doors and from the opposite side you can see that we have push marks in some of these parts. Okay. Next we go on with assembly manuals, so I think there are, no, there are some decals. So first we start with assembly manual for this version, let's zoom out a bit, now we should be able to see it. So it's a LCP version and here we have decals sheet for this model. Printing quality looks nice, so it's just a matter of careful application and you will be good to go. And assembly manual looks fine, so it's a typical assembly manual for ACM. As you can see we have short history note on the first page. Of course everything starts with engine. Note how many parts won't be used in this type of vehicle. So we continue with main chassis, exhaust. Here we assemble the car body. So it's also a rear section. Next here we assemble the steering wheel column and also some of the control elements. Rear wall for the front cap headlamps, radiator grill, machine gun and as you can see it will be open version without roof panel on the top and here we have two marking options so actually you can choose between them if you would like to. Okay next we go on with another version of this vehicle. This one is named as a touring vehicle so just give me a second to show it to you. Here it is. So this is open four-door version of this vehicle. Again we get a really small decal sheet, here it is. And printing quality is on the same level, so here I didn't have any complaints. And overall assembly manual layout is the same as what we saw before. History note on the first page, parts map, assembly process which starts with engine. I would say that whole assembly sequence is somewhat similar between all three vehicles because it's basically the Model T. Uh, the main difference here, for example, is that we have this four-door construction, but I guess it won't make a lot of uh, difference in the assembly sequence. We install several rows of the seats. Here we install headlamps and we go pretty much ready. Again, two marking options here which are not that, I would say, colorful. It's a plain one color versions, but it should be more than enough for a um, military vehicle of World War I. And another one, it's a, as you remember, utility version with roof over the cab. 
here we have another decals sheet which looks like this and printing quality is the same as I said before so layout again history note technical specifications and paints chart parts map here assembly process which starts with engine and continues with main chassis we assemble the uh, wheel axles the frame ports then we continue with the bed and also the front cap parts next we continue with bonnet ports various control elements steering wheel and column here we assemble the roof and also the spare tire and vehicle is pretty much ready so 54 steps to get it done and in the end you can see these two marking options which are also included into this decals sheet so as I said this kit should be already available you can get it on Modelimax website of course I will be happy to hear your opinion about this kit here in the comment section below if you like this video don't forget to press the like button subscribe to our YouTube channel and I will see you in the next video review as usual thank you for joining me today and bye